Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Brandon Bias from chichicheka.com and in this tutorial I'm gonna go over how to jailbreak your iPod 2nd gen or your iPhone 3G that's running the new iOS 4.0 and we're gonna be doing that with a software that's called Red Snow. And the reason I decided to make this tutorial is because I saw quite a few other tutorials uh, about this same exact thing but it irritated me how they all used video cameras to film the entire thing and it it just made it seem really rushed so I just wanted to make one with a video camera as well as a desktop recording software and just slow it down so that it was a little bit easier to watch and hopefully easier to understand in general but before we get into anything specific I need you guys to know that if you somehow like miss a step or something like that and end up messing up your iPod or your iPhone, that is your fault and I am not held accountable. This is all on you. And also, Red Snow is not meant for unlocking the iPhone, so don't try it. Okay, so if you want to upgrade to 4.0 and you haven't already, you can just go into iTunes and plug in your iPod and just check for the update and hopefully that will just automatically upgrade to 4.0 if not don't worry there's a way around that you can just go to this website over here and if you go down to this little drop down menu right here you can just scroll all the way down to iPod touch and I'm gonna be using a second gen and I want the 4.0 software and I'll just hit download and save it to my desktop or something like that and so once you've got your software downloaded to your desktop Go back to iTunes and when you go to check for update, go ahead and hold shift and give that a click. If you're on a Mac, I believe you hold option. And then just select the software that you just downloaded. It should say like iPod 2 underscore 4.0 something 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 a bunch of random numbers and stuff. And if you don't want to update, you can always just restore with that. So one of these two will work. Just make sure you're holding shift when you click them and I've already got mine updated to 4.0 so I'm ready to go okay so I'm going to assume that you've got your software updated to 4.0 go ahead and open up the red snow software you can actually download this uh, Mac and Windows package from our website because um, I found that all of the well not all but quite a few of the links are down right now so we're putting this up on our website for you lovely people so I'm running Windows and I want to use Red Snow so we'll open up this EXE right here and this is basically just all the copyright info right here and you know please read all the documentation blah 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 and it says please select the corresponding IPSW for your current firmware basically it's saying whatever you used to restore or update your iPod or iPhone please select that right now so let's go ahead and do that go ahead and click browse and if you saved it to your desktop make sure you go there and select it but if you used iTunes in order to update or restore your iPod you're gonna have to go the long way around to get to it so you're gonna have to go to computer the local disk or the C drive go down to users go to the user you're on go to application data you're gonna have to have uh, hidden files shown or whatever that's called go to roaming Apple computer and then go to iTunes and finally iPod software updates and right now I've got three different restores but I know this is mine because it's the iPod second generation with 4.0 software so I'm just gonna open that right now and it's gonna process your firmware for you and it's going to ask if it's an MC model of the iPod touch second G so when you go to your iPod let's go ahead and unlock this baby right here and we're just going to go to our settings go into general and go to about and then you should see whether it's an MB or an MC or blah 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 and mine's not MC so I can actually go back to my computer after I hit home and then I can say no I do not have an MC model okay so now that my IPSW has been successfully identified I can just click next and it's gonna to connect to the server for you and prepare some jailbreaking data and then over here is where you uh, check mark the things that you want to install when you jailbreak 
I'm going to keep all of this on because I do want Cydia, I do want my multitasking, the home screen wallpaper, and my battery percentage. So we'll just hit next. Okay, and this is the part where it's saying you need your iPod to be off and plugged into the computer. And when you do that and you hit next, it's going to give you a couple of steps to put your iPod into DFU mode. So I'm just going to teach you how to do that real fast instead of having you read the instructions because I found them pretty confusing myself. So go to your iPod and just kind of watch this. So make sure your iPod is turned off. So we're going to slide the power of this baby off right now. Okay, and right now I'm just going to teach you how this is going to work real fast. When your iPod is off, you're going to hold the power button and the home button until it turns on and the Mac logo appears, but you're going to keep holding those buttons until, until the screen goes completely blank. And even when it goes completely blank, you're going to hold these two buttons for an extra five seconds. And after that five seconds is up, go ahead and take your finger off of the power button and keep holding the home button until you hear your speakers on your computer give that little blue loop sound saying that it recognized your iPod touch or your iPhone and when you do hear that bloop go ahead and let go of your home and then your iPod should be in DFU mode so let's go back to the computer and go ahead and click next and it's gonna go ahead and give you your countdown and all that stuff but I'm just gonna go ahead and do the steps that I just taught you let's go back to my iPod Let's go ahead and hold these two buttons. You can see that my Mac logo appeared. And it went away. One, two, three, four, five. Let go of power, and I'm just holding the home key. And I just heard the sound from my computer, so I let go of the home key, and it's going to automatically reboot for me. And if you look back at your computer, it's going to go through all of these stages and start uploading things. And you can hear lots of bloops as the iPhone turns on and off. And then it's going to say done. And the rest of this process is going to take place on your device. So you can go ahead and hit finish and close out of this window. And then if you look back at your iPod Touch or your iPhone, you will see this screen that says downloading jailbreak data. And it's just going to go and do everything on its own. So that's all there is to it. Um, I hope this worked for you. Just go ahead and sit tight as it does the rest of the work for you. And there you go. You've got a jailbroken iPod Touch second generation or iPhone 3G. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'm definitely going to be posting some of those useful links in the description. So thanks for watching everyone, we'll see you next time.